all kinds of shenanigans uh, we witnessed here last couple days as you can see yesterday we it seemingly i uh, look like the market you can see right here that was the fifth of uh, fifth hour of yesterday's price you see that long lower week here because uh this market has been relying on that micro term for so long here as you can see that's the micro term Micro term here, micro term here, micro term here, micro term, micro term moving average here, little fed fake here, and finally, it looked as though you see that long low rate. This is yesterday, fifth hour price action, and during that intro hour, you look like it was breaking below not only the micro term and also my short term moving average here. Looks like all the stops were getting taken out. Uh, and maybe some bears are shorting uh, or putting their trigger to short. But you can see how quickly on that sixth hour we bounced back. And we got all the way back to the all time high level there. And that was yesterday's price action, as you can see. And so the way it closed with a little bit of a uh, shenanigan looks like a head fake and the sixth hour run you think i think a lot of people possibly believe they were gonna see a follow through today possibly a gap up or continuation instead what we got was it opened slightly down so it's a small down gap it's not a big down gap it's a small down gap like 0.2 percent or something like that very small down gap maybe not even and then it started flushing down all the way back below the micro term moving average and the short term moving average there so we actually came back down to uh the level where that uh fifth hour last hour fifth hour price came down to near to that level however that 565 566 level is the uh, gap area right as you can see right here this is where we found support right here right that's the gap that up gap still remaining open right here i have my midterm moving average residing in that vicinity and the rising pivot as well so that was the support level i think bears needed to break and really attack uh this up gap right because this up gap has been open for a couple of weeks now but as you can see we didn't see that follow through again yesterday six hour bullish move no follow through today first hour bearish move no follow through on the second or third or fifth or sixth hour today we've seen these abrupt moves either to the upside or to the downside without the follow through move <laughs> basically the market is still chopping for the last two straight weeks nothing has changed we're just doing nothing we're moving sideways we're chopping we go up we come down 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 that's all we've been doing and look at that oscillator right here that oscillator acting very very sus here um you, you know you would think maybe it will I see a little bit of rollover, but pretty much move sideways. Probably is confused. I mean, I'm confused. You're confused. Everybody's confused. My oscillator's confused. Huh? So here, I'm going to lay out a couple scenarios. If, if tomorrow morning, if we hold above the micro and short term right here, and if, 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 if it's a gap up and you're a buyer here, if it, gap, if it gaps up right here, something like that, let's say we see something like this, and this is a gap up. And we hold above the micro or short term moving averages and that gap holds first uh, first hour well, first hour and two hours right 
Then there's a very, very good chance Bull's gonna go after this, fill this gap, and potentially we're seeing this as a, a reversal and a follow through. Because we haven't seen any sort of follow throughs, right? We've seen these abrupt moves without the follow throughs. Abrupt move without the follow throughs. Abrupt down move without the follow through. So, the, the, whatever we've seen last several hours here, that really means nothing without follow through, right? Either to the upside or downside, because bears are going to argue. Bears are going to argue this is a bear flag. Huh? Well, bulls argue that already here, that this is a bull flag or something, or here, that never panned out. I never go by that, as you guys know, at least the short term of the 65-minute chart. But bears are gonna, nonetheless, bears are going to argue this is a bear flag. Bear coming down, little flag, boom. Possibility, yes. Yes, of course. Everything, anything is possible in the market. You could have a 0.001% chance, but that's still a possibility. If we open lower, at best bet, if you're a seller here, best bet is gapping down, probably below this rising pivot, below, you know, this level right here, where you see how, you see those lower wigs? You see these lower wigs right here? That's definitely a support right here. So gapping down below that would help to uh, push this thing down to really, really push it down to the uh, gap area. Because that gap area really didn't get retested. Even the midterm didn't really get tagged. Uh, the, the, the gap area didn't get tagged either. So that would be best to bears to kind of start attacking this big up gap. Uh, otherwise, you know, we could potentially see the support again here, you see, and then we can grind again. So I think levels are pretty clear, Perfect. Um, in my opinion, and it has to be, it has to hold first couple hours. So I think staying above 570.20, here, let me put out, let me put these dotted lines for you guys can see. Yeah, 570.20 or so, I think we hold above it, gap up above it or something like that would be good. Uh, for bears, you want to gap it down below 567.35, hold below it, hold that down gap, and then start attacking uh, this up gap. <laughs>